Hi and welcome back to this video brought to you by Math From Scratch. In this video we're going to look at how to find the range. Now if you look at the definition above, the range is the highest value with the lowest value subtracted from it. And we find the range of sets of numbers to help us find out how spread out the data is. So the range is a measure of spread. So if we look at example one, we need to work out what the range is. So we circle the highest value. So we scan through and try and find the biggest value. So in this case, it's seven. And then from that, we're going to take away the smallest. So we're going to look through and try and find what the smallest one is. So the smallest one is indeed one. So we're going to subtract that from seven. So seven subtract one gives us six. And so that tells us that the range of the first set of numbers, the first data set, the range of that is six. And that simply tells us that the data is spread out across six numbers. Now, if we look at example number two, so we need to find the highest value. So the highest value in this case is 43. So that's our largest. And then as per the definition, we need to work out what the smallest value is and then subtract that from 43. So I'll scan through, so my smallest number there is 1, 43 subtract 1 gives me a range of 42. And that's all there is to the range. You find the biggest number in your data set, you find your smallest number, and you take the smallest from the biggest. So now we've had a look at two examples. Here are two practice questions for you to have a go at. Pause the video, find the range of those two data sets, and then when you're ready to look at the answers, just press play again and I'll go through the answers with you. Okay, so you've had a go at those two questions, finding the range. Now, as in the definition, the range is the highest value subtract the smallest value. So we need to go through and find the highest. So in our first data set, the highest value is a 12. So there's 12, and my lowest value in that is going to be a 2. And so 12 subtract 2 gives me 10. And so my range of the first data set is 10. Now, as you'll notice, I'm being very thorough with how much working out that I'm writing down. Now, this is increasingly important, especially if you're watching this video in preparation for an exam, is that the working out is key. So the examiner can see exactly what you've been doing, what your thought process was when you were working out the range. So as an example, if you kind of made a mistake on this simple question here, 12 subtract 2, which is easy, easy to do in a high pressure situation, and you actually gave a different answer for the range, you might possibly, depending on the mark scheme, you might possibly be able to get a mark because you have shown the correct method. So working out is absolutely crucial if you want to save method marks. Now, if we move on to question B, scan through, we're trying to find the highest. So my highest value in this case is 50. So I'll write that down. And then from that, we're going to subtract the smallest, which I do believe is four. And so 50 subtract four gives me an answer of 46. So my range of the second set of data is going to be 46. So there we, are, there we are. That's how we find the range of a set of numbers. Thank you for watching this video brought to you by Math From Scratch. Please subscribe, share, like if you found this video useful or you know people who might find this video useful. Thanks for watching and I will see you in another video.